Open Framing is a system, simply put, for analyzing topics and categorizing large amounts of text documents by the labels that you, the user, provide, or using models that we've already created. So let's look at the topic modeling. And let's say that we want to talk about global warming. And we think there are maybe five or so topics in our data set. And when we look at our data set, we wanna make sure that it only has one column labeled example, no other columns, and it must be labeled example. We're going to upload that file and enter an email and then hit submit. And we'll get an email once training is complete. If we want to do a framing analysis, we're going to select either one of the policy issues that already exists to use a pre-trained -pre model or another policy issue. So let's look at global warming. And the topics that are in our training set are one, two, and 99. So we're going to write them down here. Let's take a look at our training set. Notice that it has the two columns, example and category. And we're going to add our training set here. And then we're going to add a file to do inference on. And that's going to be the unlabeled set we saw just before in the LDA example. And then we enter a valid email. And then we perform the analysis, which will take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. When it's done, you'll get an email telling you where to download your final data. So let's say we want to examine a policy issue that is relevant to one of the models that exists already trained on open framing. We don't have to provide any labeled data because the open framing team has already done that. Instead, we just need to upload our unlabeled data. So we've selected our topic, which in this case is gun violence, and we're going to upload a file that only contains a column labeled example. And then we just upload, enter our email so that when the analysis has finished, we can be notified. And then we just hit perform analysis. Now we're going to wait a few minutes for the inference to finish. When the inference has finished, we'll be able to see our examples. Each example will have a predicted category next to it that indicates the most likely frame. And we can download the file as a CSV. And if we download it, we can then take a look at the CSV. And let's see what is there. You can see again, we have the example column and for every row, we also have a predicted category that indicates the most likely frame as determined by our pre-trained model.